National Preparedness Month. Signaling. Like that spy plane that just flew overhead. Well, a white light can be a signal, right? Especially in the dark. Especially in the dark. What about having something like this? What's that? A whistle on a lanyard. It hangs around my neck when I'm out here doing stuff like this. Just a little cheap whistle. That's a signaling device, isn't it? Get your attention. Way more efficient than screaming and yell yelling for hours on end if you're lost in the wilderness and somebody's looking for you. What about the inside mylar of this APLS, this blanket? Could I tie this to a stick and wave it like a flag to get somebody's attention? You know, whether it's a plane or a helicopter or a search and rescue team, sure could. What about a VS-17 signal panel? Yeah. Do you even know how to fold that thing and lay it out? <laughs> you could. You could do that. What about... star flash mirror right there you may be asking yourself if your compass has a mirror in it why the hell do you have this too oh the reason is because you can look through the center of this the star flash and aim it and glint light shine light into people's eyeballs to get their attention and of course we do have a mirror here as well. Look, now you can see yourself. That's you. You're the camera. Signaling options. So some are visual, right? The white light, the star flash mirror, the uh, compass, the APLS mylar blanket. That's all visual. There's also auditory. There's the, the whistle, right? The little toot toot. That, that, I could make that thing scream, but I know some of y'all are listening on earbuds and already hate my guts because of that. So that's auditory, right? What about your combo? Can you signal that way? Do you have pro words? Do you have comma windows? Do you have more than one radio? Is there somebody listening on the other end? What about three shots evenly spaced? What does that mean? Especially like out here. What, or in certain times of the year, say like spring and especially fall. What do those three evenly spaced shots mean? Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I means somebody's in distress. Could I take a big stick and bang it against this tree? I could. Say I was stranded. I broke my leg out here and I couldn't get out and I knew that sooner or later somebody's gonna come looking for me. Yeah, I could crawl or drag myself over to a tree and find a big stick. And when I think I hear somebody or something moving in the area, I can bang that stick against the tree, right? That's something. What about those uh, Garmin inreaches? I have one on the safety vest that I wear when I do grindstone stuff. That's a way to signal, isn't it? And I know that that location feature is in certain GPS, handheld GPS units as well. That's a way to signal. What about in certain states, 
if I put a blaze of red, a four inch by four inch red square on trees, or in other states, a slash of purple, purple spray painted line on a tree, what does that mean? That's a no trespassing signal, right? Just heard a cow moo in the background. That's a signal, isn't it? What about how I'm wearing my ball cap? It's pointed forward, or I turn it around and I point it backward. That could be a signal to somebody. Or if I'm in a conversation with somebody and I want a thing to happen at a certain time and I just pick my nose. Yeah. That's a signal. Could I build a giant fire and send up smoke signals? I could. Only a white man would make a fire that big, right? Dances with wolves. Signaling is more than toot toot on the whistle or flash flash with the mirror. It's a message that you're sending to elicit a response, whether that response is, now is the time, go, or I'm over here, or everything's good, or everything's not good, I need help. So having signaling capability in your kit is important, but it's also understanding what messages and what responses are you trying to elicit with said signaling equipment and then having the reps and sets with you and your peeps to know that if this, then that. If I blow my shofar three times, my guys know what that means. And if there's a long shofar blast and it's low pitch and then it goes high at the end, uh, my guys know what that means. Signaling, right? That's why there were trumpets on the battlefield, drums on the battlefield. That's intentional. It's for signaling. Different flags, right? To this day, we know to wave the white flag means to give up, to surrender. That's a signal. So it's not just buying some kit. It's having protocols around when we use the kit and what it means when we use this kit. And that video, this is not an instructional video on all those different things. You should invest some of your own time to figure out what you want that to look like for you and your people. But you should have signaling capability. Y'all have a blessed day. Shalom.